Hello, uh, this is a rebuttal to the video I saw, uh, the atheist walking. I noticed that he's a brother, and I realized that there's a lot of people out there that's confused. And, uh, you know, I'm here to just kind of answer the questions. First of all, he said that Jesus never said he was the Son of God. This guy obviously has not read the Bible. Jesus, on several times, actually referred to himself as the Son of God. Uh... And one of those times, which was very obvious, was when uh, Jesus, during his trial, uh, they asked him, are you the Christ, the Son of God? And he said, I am. And you see me sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Well, actually, this was actually also mentioned in Daniel, I believe it was chapter 7 or chapter 9, where it says that the Messiah will come in the clouds. And so that's why they said, it's blasphemy, because... Uh, when he said that, he was surely indicating that he was the Son of God and that he was God in flesh. Also, uh, he mentioned that Paul made him more of a New Testament than Jesus. Well, this is really stupid. It's a stupid statement coming from someone who knows the Scripture and also has a relationship with Jesus Christ and understands that Jesus is a supernatural being. He was all man, but he's also all God. So the spirit that was in Paul, uh, Paul, first of all, was a killer of Christians. And he's one of the greatest testimonies of Christianity that a man who killed Christians, who was totally against Christianity, was stopped by Jesus in a vision on the road and knocked off of his horse, and he, whom he said Jesus appears to him and told him to uh, turn from his wicked ways. Now, there is, it's obvious, there's evidence in the physical that this happened because of the fact that those who were with him also heard the sound, but did not hear the voice. They saw a lot of bright light, but did not hear the voice. Jesus only told to speak to him. But the others with him did see it. And the radiance of that glow, of his glory, was so great that Paul was blinded. Now, otherwise, what other explanation do you have from a, a total guy who killed, massacred thousands of Christians, hunted them down to almost extinction, all of a sudden decided out of the blue, oh yeah, I'm just going to become a Christian. You could say it was guilt, but while he just, right before he's getting ready to make the biggest law of all time. He was taught from childhood to be like this. That would be like a terrorist today turning around. Somebody like Bin Laden turning around and go, oh yeah, I just want to love everybody. No, it was a supernatural occurrence that made Paul change. And he's one of the greatest evidences. Now, everything he preached was by the Holy Spirit. And if you don't believe in the Holy Spirit because you're spiritually dead, as I said, an atheist is a dead man walking. So he's spiritually dead. You don't know anything about the spirit, or you don't believe in the spirit, because all you believe is evidence, is things that you can touch, feel, and taste. And God talks about you in the book of Jude. He also talks about scoffers in the last days. And he talks about people that walk around like brute beasts, like animals. And all they do, in fact, it's funny how evolution has caused us animals, because that's the way that they are. They go only by their senses, only by uh, physical means, only by what they can see and touch. But as the guy in the, <clears throat> was talking about science, and this brings us to science, uh, science does not prove everything, and neither can it. Science is a continual search for truth, if you know the definition of science. And you're constantly trying to find other evidences to try and back up the hypotheses or guesses you already have. But it's always a fluent thing. But therefore, truth is something that actually cannot be proven by science. The truth already existed. Whatever is true has already existed, it always will exist. It's just found out by science. It is something that science observes, and then you try to, uh, just like, for instance, atoms already existed long before we knew what they were. And they were doing what they were doing in our body, and our antibodies and all these things, our hearts, our lungs. We didn't know that what these things were. We didn't know they existed, per se, because we didn't know what they were. But when we found out through scientific evidence, we got the tools to know that, okay, there's a heart in there, there's lungs in there. And we knew what they were. But before that, they existed, and they were true. They existed, whether we knew it or not. So, therefore, you can't base science as a fact, oh, that everything has to come to me through science. And if it's not proven in a physical yet, I won't believe in it. That's silly. There's many documented miracles of people who have believed in Jesus uh, who have been healed. And I've seen many miracles uh, in the name of Jesus myself. I've also witnessed my mother, who was asthmatic as she was a child, was healed from asthma, and she's been singing ever since. There's been countless things I've seen and things that I can tell you about that God has done. And so uh, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. You need to accept Jesus Christ. You need to stop 
going to hell. Make the decision to change today. Because right now you're going the wrong way. Okay? And you're sending a whole bunch of people there with you. But God bless you. I don't want you to do that. Just say, I believe Jesus died and rose again. Bye.